Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video. Hopefully my microphone is a little bit better for you guys in today's video. I have been trying to do some adjusted changes to the volume of my microphone so that it is coming in a little bit more crisp and clear for you guys that are new to the channel. So thank you guys again for tuning in. We have a PvP build to jump into today and uh, it's actually going to be about the rapier and the fire uh, staff itself. So if we actually jump into my build right now, we can go and check into my tab. We can see that my gear is actually pretty bad for level 47. I've been really just kind of trying to grind levels right now and uh, staying away from uh, focusing on gear. So keep that in mind while uh, we go through this. But the first thing we're going to see today is that I am light armor. So the big thing to note is I am equip load light, which gives me while wearing light armor, your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance. You deal 20% bonus damage so that's a lot of extra 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 damage for these 1v1 duels and 2v2 duels and whatever else i will say guys during war you will probably want to equip heavier as we look like we have a pvp -er coming over here and if we do we may just try to kill him uh let's just go for it real quick and then we'll go back to that uh that <laughs> that guy i'm gonna use a potion right away he did pop me with a uh a nice bleed there and we'll see if we can actually do something here um, he is playing musket and looks like hatchet possibly, so um, we'll see what does come out of this. So we get a nice hit. I misrolled there. Um, we only were able to get a uh, front stab heavy attack. A lot of misses going on with this fight. So far, nothing special. I did get a huge critical burn there. And another good auto attack. Um, kind of missed that one. Missed that one as well. I got a big hit there. One more auto. No way. He's got the hatchet, so he's going to get... Nice. Okay, so we were able to kill him again. Um, he's not going to be happy about that one, probably. But uh, not worth any XP, unfortunately. But just a little fight for you guys as we are mid. Um, it's like It looks like the Syndicate guy's happy about it as well. Just a little fight for you guys live here. Uh, I do want to go a little bit farther away just so I don't get any conflict. I am PvP flagged because I always play PvP, pat PvP flagged. But let's talk a little bit more about this guide. Sorry about the little interruption there. Uh, you can see that I did miss a lot of abilities and still were able to capitalize just based on literally auto attacks from that fire staff. A very, very strong weapon right now. Uh, in the PvP tier list, I have both these weapons as an A, right below that S behind Hatchet and Great Axe. But, you know, these are great weapons. Very close to S tier, in my opinion. Like I said, we do have Light as the equip load. We have great weapons here and great, uh, really focus on intelligence and constitution. So, if you can tell, I do have Gems that actually go into the 2.5% slash damage absorption. That helps a lot with Hatchet and Great Axe. You can do whatever you guys want here with the gems and your sockets. These are just actually Tier 3 and Tier 4 Syndicate armors that uh, I was able to switch over from, I believe, Dexterity Constitution to Constitution Intelligence. So you are able to see that I do have a few medium uh, armor equipped as well as light just to make it as closest to 15 as possible with still being in that light section so we go down to the jewelry we also have a heavy heart which is a very very good drop that i got uh in the previous video you guys saw um in cutlass keys uh so we also have the brightwood's blessing as well plus 15 constitution so great constitution attributes coming in play from the jewelry section we do have an earring slot that's available now i still have yet to get a jewelry just kind of being lazy on that i need to grab some uh but you know just taking a look at the weapons now this is going to be a big play and factor into what's going on here we see 13 intelligence plus six focus focus is not really a great deal here but uh the biggest thing to note is that it is a tier four blue with uh some decent things in the really life stealing is not huge but uh just really focused on the damage output of this weapon versus you know the tier three that i previously had so uh i do have equipped a diamond i believe I've, not a diamond what is that i actually can't remember what that is but i actually do have equipped 30 percent of damage in, is converted to the arcane so we actually will run to town and definitely check on that for you guys because that's pretty bad that i can't remember what i have in my socket i know i have moonstones in my armor um but i cannot for, for some reason remember what gem that is in my rapier uh you could do a bunch of these there's actually 30 percent of damage isn't converted to uh, void there's 30 percent of damage isn't converted to whatever you really want i went with arcane here and we also have the fire staff so 30 intelligence plus five focus again getting focus not really a huge attribute that we want to grab a lot of but another great staff because of the light and heavy attacks dealing 7.7 percent more damage in the gear score being very very high at 395 for a tier three that's very very high so um just you know all around decent weapons not nothing special in the gear but i do want to talk about really the weapon attributes so if we go to 
um, the attributes. This is the page that we're looking at. So we have constitution at 64, focus at 16, intelligence 208, and obviously 5 and 5 for strength and dexterity. So one thing to note is if you guys are new to uh, New World, you probably don't know much about this, but you can see here there are big circles, and these actually are uh, big to pay attention to when you're building out a build. So one thing to note is you want to grab as many of these circles as possible depending on how big and important they are to grab. So the first one on intelligence is going to be plus 10% damage to light and heavy magic attacks. Uh, so that is huge. Obviously a massive increase when you're doing light and heavy attacks. So you definitely, if you're running an intelligence build, want to get to 50 as quickly as possible in the attributes section. We actually can take a look. I know I'm saying attributes. I know a lot of people like attributes. Sorry about that in the, uh, in the uh, I guess... <laughs> I, I'll probably continue to say it honestly, but you know, we also see all health consumables 20% stronger So this is one thing to note as well So that's what I'm getting over 50 uh, for constitution is the all health consumables 20% stronger Eventually I will like to have this 100 constitution just because increased math max health by that 10% of your physical armor Could be fairly solid and you also see there's a lot of really benefits to getting constitution at least up to uh, 200 because you get that 20% increase to armor and then this is the biggest one at 250 constitution minus 80% damage reduction when full health so I am going more of a glass cannon build with 208 constitution or sorry 208 intelligence and 64 constitution and like I said guys the one thing to note with this is I can do this with the rapier because if we actually go let's go to weapon master or not weapon mastery let's go to the uh, attributes here or attributes we can see that intelligence does scale with rapier but it goes with dexterity first and intelligence second I believe this is about a 0.8 scaling instead of a straight one point scaling like dexterity for rapier but obviously it scales very very well with fire staff as the main attribute or attribute so uh, I do want to jump then into uh, like I said the rapier so this is one thing to note like I said 30% of damage is converted to arcane and the damage scales off base weapon stat or intelligence whichever is higher and that's a huge deal to note so you putting this really this gem into uh, your weapon is going to be a huge deal and give you huge amounts of damage bonus so if we can find a let's find uh, a mob real quick I should have probably scheduled this a little bit better for you guys I didn't expect to get into a pvp fight there so if I did expect that I would have been in a little bit better of a spot for you guys I'm assuming we will find you know maybe a wolf here in just a second and there is one right over here so what you'll notice if I go up to the rapier with this wolf I attack and I get a 569 and a 360 so that 360 is actually all from the gem and you can see it again here so that 369 and 234 so that's actually add those together and that's the damage that I'm outputting against this wolf so I'll do it again if I hit an attack there we get 341 and 219 so a great way to really see that massive damage increase is you can duel somebody before and obviously after you put that gem into the weapon we do have another pvp -er here this one's actually level 60 so this could be a tough fight we'll try it out though um, you know we like to fight everything we possibly can as I miss everything he probably is just going to run away uh, continuing to run away oh, he might fight it if we get a fight here, this will be a, a nice, fun one just because of, obviously, level 60. I don't think he's going to fight, though. Looks like he's still on the run. Uh, you'll get that a lot, it seems like, in PvP right now. It's just a lot of running. Uh, he's level 60, so you would hope that he would turn around. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. But let's jump back into the market and give you guys an example of what gem you'd probably want to be looking for on the market or to cut yourself and put into the rapier if you're running this Fire Staff Rapier PvP build. I will have some uh, gameplay at the end of the video as well, guys, if you want to stay tuned for that. Not much, probably just one or two clips because we will have more gameplay coming out here in the next couple of days as well. So if you are not subscribed already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. As we jump into Ryan find resources we can see cut gemstones as an option here we can see cut sapphire this is going to be the one we want and i i knew it was actually cut uh, sapphire i just could not think of it and that's going to be the 30 percent of damage isn't converted to arcane and like i said there are many different options you can choose here um and then on my fire staff is going to be the cut onyx so if we actually see uh my fire staff here I don't think I actually even talked about the cut onyx, but it does 20% damage against targets with full health. So the first ability that you're going to put down is going to be a huge, huge damage when you have this plus 20%. Obviously, scaling with light and heavy attacks, dealing that 7.7% uh, more damage could be a massive burst to start your fight. So do really understand what your build is all about when you make a build when you understand the build you can really use it to your advantage obviously using uh you know fire staff first in a fight is going to be the best way to do so because they are most likely full health and you'll be able to chunk them very very quickly with your first ability or attack so that's going to be a really complete guide pvp build guide i guess on the fire staff and rapier my current build right now i do want to play around a little bit more with the 
just base dexterity build uh, in Constitution. Probably will do that in respec at the end of the closed beta, just to play around a little bit. But I still think the musket is in a great place. I have it level 13 or mastery 13 right now. Uh, but I did get to rapier mastery 20 and fire staff 18, so I do have a lot of experience in these sections. But let's jump into the weapon mastery now. So going into the weapon mastery, we can actually take a look here. We have refreshing strikes, reducing all cooldowns by 1% on each hit, and then in guard as well. So deal 10% more damage when your target has greater than 50% health. We also can go over here to grace, and we can see that I have evade all the way stacked up, and then also repost all the way stacked up, and then flesh all the way stacked up. And we have uh, swiftness as well as red curtain so you can get rid of swiftness if you like i am playing around with swiftness i have uh, in the past done a deal 10 percent more damage when your health is full or i've even done the deal 10 percent more damage when your stamina is below 40 percent more often than not just because desperation you usually do have less than 40 percent stamina if you are spamming your dodge rolls and taking advantage of that stamina every time you get a chance so the big one to note is momentum so gain 25 percent increased damage on your next slide or heavy attack after performing an ability ends on hit or after three seconds. So definitely take advantage of this during your fights. That's going to be a very, very big increase in fights for damage percentage. So jumping back into the fire staff, I only have 18 mastery, so I am missing two spots. Uh, playing around with this build at the moment, so I am going pillar of fire. I do have spec, uh, I guess checked, spell sl uh, spell slinger, so your abilities gain an extra 15% chance to critical strike. And then we have profit of a fire god. While holding fire staff, your critical strike damage is increased by 20%. Looks like they have a spelling mistake there in increased, but you know, they also will have Singe, so when you get a critical hit with Fire Staff, cause burning, deal 3% weapon damage each second for 6 seconds, and then clear casting. So if you haven't taken damage in the last 3 seconds, deal 10% more damage. And then we have that Runes of Helios, so this is a big one. Uh, casting a Fire Spell places a 2 meter rune on the ground, increasing your spell damage by 30% while standing in the rune. I do like this one because usually when you attack first with your fire staff, they're trying to close in on you and you can actually take advantage of your uh, rune that you get. So if I use my Q right now, you can see this big rune. If I stay in this circle, my next attack will do a lot more damage. So like I said, if I do an auto or something trying to get somebody, you know, lured into me showing that uh, I just have ranged weapons and maybe, you know, they'll take advantage of by running at me. Well, that's exactly what I want because I have that big circle that I will be standing in and hopefully I'll at least hit them with the fireball. If not, uh, Pillar of Fire is always there to back me up and then you can always use your escape or your engage with that F. Uh, the F ability is going to be, I can never think of the actual wording, burnout and it does very, very good damage. So dash through targets, dealing 120% weapon damage on hit. Passing through, a target will catch the target on fire, applying a burn effect that deals 10% weapon damage each second for 8 seconds. So it's a huge amount of damage that you can actually get, and the burnout goes 50% farther, and obviously all in. So fire staff cooldowns are reduced by 5% for each foe hit by burnout. So a great, great build here. I think this is going to be one of the strongest coming out. I will give a shout out to Cleomance. So Cleomance on Twitch actually plays this build quite a bit as well, so if you guys want to check him out. Um, he's actually one of those guys that I learned a little bit about this build from. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. This video went a little bit longer than I would have guessed, so I will probably just leave those PvP clips for another time because, like I said, we have plenty of clips featuring this uh, PvP build already, and I would love to put those PvP clips in with more clips and give you guys more of a uh, little bit of a I guess, montage of clips, um, you know, in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I really do appreciate your guys' awesome support and like this video and comment and let me know what you guys think is the strongest build. Or if you have any questions about my current build and I maybe missed something, definitely a possibility. I wasn't ready to get in that PvP fight. Kind of threw me for a loop and wasn't fully ready for you guys. So thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one.